Okay, Mega City. What the heck? Okay, wait. I forgot to change this. Okay, Mega City Growth. And also an additional case study. So, Mega City Growth. So, what is a Mega City? It's a city with more than 10 million inhabitants. And what the con. What? What are the consequences of this? So the social consequences are congestion, poverty, a lack of sanitation, lack of green areas, diseases rise, crime increases, informal housing grows, and social tensions can increase because of, you know, more people means more different people, more different thinking people, so there can be some types of discrimination, things like that. Environmental pollution can be air pollution, water pollution, and noise pollution and also economic issues are in unemployment because of kind of the strain on jobs a lot of people and not enough jobs house prices rise because of the demand for housing and there's a strain on the kind of economic resources um, and this can also lead to higher pricing in general finally political consequences are pressure on the government to deal with this possibly over population and overuse of resources and pressure upon the incumbent leaders like the presidents prime ministers etc to kind of do something if these consequences become too large okay so the case study for mega city is mumbai in india so the background of this mega city is that it has over 22 million inhabitants so definitely over the 10 million mark making it a big mega city it's on the western coast of india so what are the causes of its very large growth as a mega city it's a high-tech region in india it replaced the old textile industry and it houses loads of multinationals such as tata and reliance and tata is a large multinational corporation which um you know through its diversification and its global networking has become very successful and you know then it attracts a lot of investment into this mega city um, thus making the area richer and contributing to its growth financial institutions are also mainly concentrated here so that of course leads to growth and attracts people to move there okay so what are the consequences of this however so there's a larger gap between the rich and the poor in Mumbai so you realize that poverty in this area has risen due to a strain on resources um, shown by the fact that there is one toilet per 400 people on average and 60% of people live in the slums such as the Dharavi slums which are actually one of the largest slums in Asia with very poor standards of living and living conditions lack of sanitation um, and there's a huge lack of living space in areas like this and some have even less than four meters squared of space to live in and finally there's large pollution from leather factories and other kind of industrial activities that have arisen in this mega city area